Well, hello, Crafty Ladies. How you doing? Hope you're all doing well. Catching up some some good weather, I hope. I'm getting some nice sunny weather this week. Probably be the end of it for a while. But anyway, I did a remake. I did not like this first one right here. Do not like it. I took off the flag. But remember, I had the little horse flag up here. I don't like it. Anyway, that's why I remade it. And this one is much better. Yes, it is much better. I got the little curtain in the front to step right up. And I got the little monkey. All my animals are 3D on here. They're all 3D. Oh, I got my lid on wrong, of course, like I did last time. It goes this way. Did the lid pretty simple this time. But, um, I don't got my flag in yet. There we go. I don't got my flag in yet. And I'll get it up there. But it's a lot muter red it's not as bright and i like that's more vintage but here you go there's the front and then this first panel it says circus today that's a vintage um little card here and also well, look vintage and here's a true circus elephant right there that's a chipboard piece and then here it just says happy with on a ticket and it says the greatest show on earth. I don't know why it's not coming in with the the lion. And then here's the elephant. It says circus spectacular. And then here it says soar. And we have him right here in the cage. He's down here. And they're all like I said. They're all three dimensional. And then this one, the last one, has the giraffe and the little lady on the horse. I don't know why it's not coming. There you go. Ta-da! The giraffes. And then back to the front. Yeah, I just like this one so much better. It just turned out so much better. And the, the inside is the top yellow, but I've got the panels in on the inside yet. Yeah, they'll probably be yellow like the last one. I'll put the panels in. I already got circus stuff in there. Circus layout stuff. But anyway, yeah, I just had to remake that. I didn't like that first one. I wish I wouldn't have even shown it. But, um, yeah, I'm going to get my flag put on here and be good to go. And then we're going to go this way because I did some vintage shopping over the last couple weekends. I haven't showed you. My beautiful Murano hand-blown boot started a thing. And here's what I got yesterday. It's gorgeous. I just love it. Yeah. And then this one I think was a bud base. I got that one. Pretty sure it was a bud base. And then up here this one started the whole thing. And I put, I remember I had, I don't know if you remember when I showed it, I had um, white pearls in here. Well I switched it to a bunch of different pink beads. I just thought that was pretty. Just mix a bunch. And then I got another shoe here. A little baby shoe pin cushion. I love it. Old. And these pin cushion tops, these old pin cushion stop tops, is what started this little pin cushion thing. This one is gorgeous. And it says, Made in Occupy Japan. Right there. I don't know. Made in occupied Japan means, but that's when it was made. I like it. And then this one over here, I got. I actually had this one before, and it, most of the paint was gone off of the flowers, and I found another one just like it. So I got it, and this one's made, or the paint, more of the paint is on there. I gave it the other one to my sister. But yeah, I got those. And let me think, anything else over here? Oh, the cats. I got these little pewter and brass cats. They're really heavy. But I thought they were so cute. There we go. And there they are. They got the little tie. The little brass tie. And they got brass eyes. And then they're made out of pewter, aren't they? adorable they're so cute it's a father and son 
what it is. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty heavy and solid. There's their tail. Made in Japan. <laughs> and let's see over here. Let's see anything over here. Um, yes, I did. I got these collars. This is a call. This one's, I think, pretty vintage because of, or at least the ribbon's vintage. I think the collar and everything's vintage, but I, this ribbon looks pretty vintage. It's kind of a velvety, but this one back here don't look that vintage. The uh, ribbon looks pretty new, but these are just collars. And then I got a really cute crocheted apron, half apron. It's so cute when it's hanging, it has kind of a ruffly effect on the bottom, or not roughly, but kind of gathers in. It's really cute. Like that, that's kind of how it hangs kind of ruffly, or I don't know what you call it, but it's really cute. It's in perfect condition. Yeah, I got those. And let's see, anything else over here? So I'll have to walk back. I think I did get another brooch for my jewelry, and that's going to be coming up. I'm going to show all that uh, vintage jewelry I've been getting. But, oh no, this dress. I got this little baby dress. It's, I don't know about crochet, but some of it I love. I don't like crocheted blankets and pillows and the big stuff. I like the little tiny stuff. Look at this. It's just adorable. I can't believe it. Don't know what I'm doing with it. I just had to have it. Don't know why, but I did. And then here's the back. It has a little, um, a little button closure right here. I don't have any clue on the age of it. It was in an antique mall. So... I just thought it was adorable, and it's actually smaller than it looks. It's it's small. Just the camera makes everything look bigger. See how it hangs? Kind of. That's how that apron hangs. Kind of like this on the bottom, all full. But yeah, I got that at the antique mall. And then over here, I found these little things and I'm pretty sure that they're for your elbows because I don't know what else they'd be for and it's perfect because my elbows are getting dry on this desk when I sit here on this desk with my elbows perfect right here it's perfect for that now they won't be getting dry anymore I'm gonna get some more of those and I found these little tiny tiny little they look like I don't know what they're made out of um, tool or something I don't know organza just little tiny flowers. Come on. There it is. They kind of sparkle too. There's all colors in here. Yeah, I found those. There's a bunch in there. They came in this little tin. came in the tin, and then we'll move these over. Actually, I'm just going to move it all the way over here, because i got to stop to show you here. And this one will move right there. Okay. Sorry for going so fast. But anyway, look at my family here. Check them out. <laughs> it's not very... Often you see six babies all chained together, and I couldn't believe it. Yes, six panther babies, all chained to their mama, and there's nothing. Oh, here's the mama, and there's nothing wrong with them. Not one thing wrong with them. And the chain was so old and little. The um actual chain is so tiny I could not get a jump ring through there. 
I mean, I don't know. I'd have to go on the hunt to find one, but I could not get a normal jump ring through those holes. And there's the chain. So, they didn't have a jump ring to them. The chain was just kind of in it. But that, so I put the chain on and the jump rings. But are they not adorable? And they're, they're, like I said, they're in perfect condition. The only thing wrong with them is the mama's one of her eye, the paint's gone or something's gone out of it right there. But this one's still there. And that's the only thing wrong with them. Are they not adorable? And then I found this one, which I think is a lot, it's not, go, doesn't go with these. And this one is Japan. And the bigger ones of these get really expensive. But this one's in perfect condition. 100% perfect condition. And they've got actual TV lamps in all sizes of this one right here. But I thought, even though it doesn't go with it, it looked good as the pop off. All three together. The protector. <laughs> anyway, and I found this little frame book. It is old and. I don't know. It's got a little clap or a little thing right here that, um, where's it at? Right there. It opens up really weird. Just kind of a little flap that goes on this little thing on the end. And then it opens up into a frame. Look how cute that is. And she's holding her dolly. She looks kind of old to be having a dolly, but maybe not. Maybe she's like, I don't know, 10, 12 years old. But I thought that was so cute. Look at the look at the closure. It's just like a little nail looking thing. And then just a little flap right there that fits into it. But that's the front and back. I thought that was adorable. And then these little hobby hobby. Hobby hobby whatever or precious moment looking girls she's calling her felt sunny bonnet sue needle cases sunny bonnet sue but there it is and there is your there's your um thimble in her head hat that's to make it look like it's open and you can use the thimble and then you lift it up and there's your pins now she's just got the safety pin there there's her pants but this one's got the blue in here. She's a little different. She's got uh, a little bit different layout than the pink one. And she's actually got shoes. But anyway, this one goes up and she's got little, your needles and your little pins in that one. And then your pin on the back, on the pants. But isn't that too cute? You keep your needle there and there's your thimble for sewing. Too cute be easy to make too but anyway I have two of those and then you know I was going to start the junk journal which I already did it's not even close to being done I haven't sewed it in yet that's the most intimidating part of the whole thing but I did get a uh, I don't know guide thing to do it but I've been getting some really cool stuff for these junk journals at the uh, I found a store not far away from me that has all these labels and stuff that I just haven't come across. But anyway, this is um, this is a uh, 1950s American Airlines flight pack with route map, welcome aboard booklet, and Hertz brochure, Hertz rent a car brochure, and more. This is awesome. This is the thing what it gave you when you boarded. You don't get this kind of stuff anymore. But yeah, you open it up. The graphics are just wonderful. And it's all here. You can get a postcard. Two of them. Yeah, it's all here. But I thought this was really cool. I remember I flew as a kid. So my parents probably got these. Because we flew all the time as a kid to come back home for... Um, family reunions, things like that, because my dad was in construction, so we moved around. We moved around as a kid, so, yeah. I probably would have got some of those. And then I found these little, 
lot of Viewmaster things, and they're all about my part of the neck of the woods, Oregon, Washington, Crater Lake, all kinds of places, and they're all in really good shape with their little jackets. This big one in the back of Oregon is like a three or four piece thing. Has Crater Lake, everything on there. I thought those were cute. And then um, these right here I got from different places. There's um, San Juan Capistrano, California. I'll open one up when I'm done. Uh, souvenir from Havana, Cuba. This one is Acapulco, New Mexico, Texas, uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Mexico, Arkansas, and we got here one from Crater Lake, Oregon, my neck of the woods, although I'm in Washington. Another one from Crater Lake, oh, there's three from Crater Lake. Yeah, there's three from Crater Lake right here. And then this really old one is in German, I believe, because I can't even read it. But what's in them is just a bunch of really cool postcards that, you, that they would have given you back then. They were souvenirs. You probably could have went to your um, local, you know, visitor center and got these. I'm trying to open one here. This is the back one. I'm going to get the tab open. And it's open really cool. down and there's just a bunch a bunch of them um, they're not they don't feel like they're um, like real thick cardboard stuff but they're paper they're nice thick paper and you get, got a bunch of them <laughs> okay, so we keep going and going and going all the way down a lot of pretty scenery and then the back would have been another picture just a bunch of pictures, I guess. They're not even postcards. They're just pictures to show where you were. Yeah. Pretty cool. There's a bunch of them. And then they... And they all go back together. Back into your little... I'll do that later. But anyway, that's what's in them, is all those postcards. And this one is from Germany. Pretty old, but, um, yeah. Same thing. Only these are postcards. See, these are postcards. There's a bunch of them in here. And they must have came apart, because this one's really old. German one and um, Mexico. Some of these, oh, the backs are really good too. The backs, the graphics are just really good. And a lot of these were postcards. I was looking at them and they were postcards. So there's all those. A lot of them. And then these, I love these. These are advertisement things. And their little booklets. This one was um, the way to health and beauty, and it was. Um, I'm not gonna get it out and open it, but that's what it was. And this one, uh, try Amore's mince meat. It's a, they're advertisements, and the graphics are so good. Look at that. And this one was California breakfast food, Petty John's or something like that. The graphics are just so good. And then this one, oh man, this one just says use Niagara gloss starch. So for your laundry, beautiful. This one looks like something else for clothes. David's Prize Soap. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, these are just were just advertisements. So cool. Oh, this was for a bed. Or something. Well, let me see. Combination folding bed. Yeah, it was uh from Chicago. Combination folding bed. A table, a desk, a sofa, a chair, and a trunk. Wow. Pretty cool. And then we had, if this cuts off, I'm going to start another one. Um, and then we have this one. Pretty fancy. And then this one. Young man clothing. This one's cute. This one is, oh, it's covered, oh wait, that's not two of them, it's, uh, stove polish, and then this one, oh, that one's cute, it says spool of silk, something like that, that one's out of the jacket, this one, doesn't say nothing, this one, sewing machine yeah they just go on and on and on they're so cute they just go on and on and on and then this last one here is um actual ticket i mean luggage ticket to the canard white star to europe and there's the ticket not even written on Vintage it says vintage luggage tag. Pretty cool. And then I got a bunch of labels. And what's cool about these is I, I showed you these other ones right here. I just added them. Yeah, I showed you these ones, but I, have, I just got these ones. And these are local to my area. A lot of them are. And I just grabbed a bunch because he had these. They had these, literally thousands of them. So I grabbed the ones that I kind of liked. These were apples, Scarlet Beauty apples. I got several of those. And then these. This is Washington fruit pears. Got several of those. Here is Northwest apples. This one's kind of cool. Texas, oh, this is Texas vegetables. I got quite a few of those. And then these are, oh, I can't read this. I think it's something just liqueur. I just like the graphics. The graphics are really cool. And then this one is Yakima apples. Well, Yakima is just a couple hours away from me. And then Yakima is a huge growing, they grow a lot of fruit and vegetables there. But there's, there's a lot of, a lot of them in there. And then this one is just full, like uh, probably a couple hundred. And this one is Majestic Northwest Fruits, Yakima, Washington. I like the crown. Yeah, these are all labels. Then this one is Mountain Brand Apples. And I got a ton of those. Yeah, I just couldn't believe it that I come across all these for junk journals. It's perfect. And then I got this. Um, no, I gotta open it. Why does it open? Just a minute. More. And there we go. <laughs> Sorry. This is a vacuum. Well, I'll just show you. It's a vacuum cleaner brochure from General Electric Cleaner. One of them is. I got two things in here. One is a toaster brochure. Darker light. And then this one is the General Electric Cleaner. They're actually a little booklet. Both of them are little booklets. For 
brochures that you would have got with your plants or whatever it was. But yeah, and then, I'm not done yet. And then, down here. See, I got this, I got this, um, hole maker for sewing in. Sewing it in, and this came with it with a needle and some wax thread and stuff. So that's going to help me. And then, oh, I got this. Look at this. It's a postcard. Check it out. It's the cable car from San Francisco. Oh, my goodness. I've been on that cable car. I have totally been on that cable car in San Francisco. That's a postcard. It's a chipboard. And then, um, let me see. Let me see. Okay, right here. This is old, some old, um, bridge things. There's, um, in, invite cards or something. Let me see. Oh, hope you can join us. Yes, these are invite cards for bridge. And they're old. And then here's the envelopes to go with them. And then, there's, this is all bridge stuff. And then we have these glasses with that. Should have had this all out. But anyway, here's these. And these, I love the graphics on this. And these are score cards. Whoops. These are score cards. I believe. I don't play, I don't play bridge, so. Yep, score cards. Yep, that's what they are. However many players you want. The whole be it. There's the back, and there's the front. And I just love the graphics on this. And then here's another one. Down here. These ones are really pretty, too. It says Tally. And the score cards. The graphics are so pretty. And then this was, they're not open, so... I didn't open them, but these are, uh, bridge tournament, two-way, two-table, new system tally, choice of two schedules, something like that, I don't know, tournaments, or I'm not sure what they, what, what that is, but there's a bunch of them in there, and yeah, I thought this was pretty cool for bridge, you know, never played bridge, but it's cool for junk journaling. And these are old um, calling cards. <laughs> Back in the day when you got called on and presented with a, a nice card. <laughs> um, some of them were just like in this type of form. And men and women, there's men and women's name on them. But, and then we'll get to the good ones. These are so pretty. Look at that. They're fancy. It was, um, to the one I love. And these are raised. They're all raised up. And then you lift it up. Oh, not that one. Okay. We'll get to that one. And this one says... Many joys to you, or merry joys to you, or something like that. And they're all raised up. Pretty. Did this one come up? Yes. And then his name is in the back. It was a calling card. Harry. And then this one. was Flora. I don't know why they're men and women, but Flora's in there for a calling card. This one's really pretty. And this one was Mary. And we have Cass. 
Nancy or something. Sassy or something. They're pretty. And this one is Nathan. Nathan Anthony. So pretty. I never knew anything about these kind of this kind of stuff. Calling cards. And then this one is Frank. It's coming off there. I'm gonna have to glue that side it. This one's Frank. Kind regards. And this one. And then this one is really cute. Nothing comes up on that one. The back of that one. But yeah, I just thought these were so cool. Calling cards, huh? And then these were just cards with their names on them. People's names on them that were in the bag. Pretty cool. And then let's see what's in this bag. I forgot. Oh, we got little. Um, these were tally cards for. Um, let's see, what was this for? can't remember, but they were tally cards for something. I don't know. Just table number, couple number, totals, name. Hmm. Don't know. But those were kind of fancy. So I got those. And then I found these. I found tons of these. They're, um... They're just these little stickers. It's like they're... You can to put the glue on yourself. But they're just a bunch of these foiled stickers and they actually said I cut them off on some of them but it actually says B R B P O I can't read that B P O H or E or something. I'm assuming that's a private club order of or something. So I just and then the I love the graphics up here, the clock with the deer. That is so pretty. So I just cut off the bottom part. Yeah, I just cut off the bottom part and now no more numbers. Yeah, I gotta cut the bottom part off those. But anyway, yeah, I found those. And then um, I did get a junk journal made. Now it's not done and I don't even know if I did it good or anything. But it's not sewn in or anything, but I'm going to give you a whirl at it. Okay. Now, I uh, was going to sew it into this, but it can't. It's, they're too, the, the signatures are too big. But that is uh, sticky wallpaper right there from Vintage Looking Wallpaper. And um, all my stuff's falling out. Anyway, okay, this would have been your first signature. This would have been the first signature. And I don't got a decorator or nothing. It's just my signature. But you would have opened it up. And I have two wallpapers. These are from Tim Holtz. They're just the paper. Two wallpapers. And I have my vintage paper. And I ordered off of Amazon. I showed you all this. Then I have an envelope that is cut on the end so I could stick something in there. Then I have some paper here. Then I have some music paper. And you go up on the music paper and I have a little pocket right there. And then we turn that over. And I got some 
some more of a vintage paper. And there's the vintage envelope. I'm going to just cut at the end, put stuff in, and more vintage paper. And just one of these corrugated things. page, I believe. Oh, and then this one, and then this one flips up like that for now. And yeah, that was the middle. I believe, yeah, that's one signature. And this is the second signature. It opens up with some music paper and just paper, paper. Here's an old envelope, made to look old, and it's open at the ends, here's old, or just, this is brown, construction paper. Here is one part of an envelope, green construction paper, there's a doily, it's uh, made out of paper, and then we got the old paper, and then we have an envelope. We have an envelope that opened on this side. It's made to look like wood, grainy. And we have old paper, lined paper. Then we have this, um, which this music paper goes in there. It's just a big old belly band. We're we'll probably do more of those. This is just one. I'm not done with these yet. These are just kind of the guts. And then that's the middle of that one. Then we have one more to go here. Oh, I did this tag too that goes in the middle of that belly band. This tag goes in the middle of the belly band and this library card is gonna go somewhere. And I got another doily, these just fell out. And this is the third one. So I got some lined paper here. Really cute Lee paper. And this is just a thing you can write on. Got a little box up there to write in. And then we have some homemade um, mulberry paper. We have old paper. Then we have um, um, an envelope. And then we have some old paper in the envelope. It's actually a budget envelope. And then we have some ripped paper. Then I have just some old like, peachy colored paper, some more handmade mulberry paper. This is just a fun fold. Put something in there, it's not done yet though. And then the green construction paper and then the old paper. Then the old paper and then that's it. I got that one. Now, these, for my first time ever doing this, there's my three signatures and they're not done. They're not done. By far. <laughs> but anyway, that's my start and I just need to know that I'm on the right track because I've never done this. And and they're only, as you can see with all the stuff I just bought, they're only going to get better. Oh, and I bought three books too. I bought music books with a bunch of good music in it, music notes and music it's going to be good. One of Chopin is a piano book with all the notes. And then one is a Christmas one with uh, actual songs. And then another one's actual songs, music. But they're all vintage. But yeah, all yellow and, and good. But those are, I didn't get those out. So anyway, I think that's all. Oh, I did get some doilies right here. I looked up and see these. Some really cool doilies. I don't know what these are, if they're not finished or what you do with these ones, but it looks like Florida Lee's on them. Yeah, I don't know what you do with those kind. Round. Not plain. Another plain one. This one has lace around it. 
This one has lace around it. These ones are like those little ones. And then we have this one. Nice old one. Pretty. And this one. And this one has the little flowers. Raised flowers. Right here, got upside down. You got the raised flowers on the ends. This one's an old one. You can tell me those flowers have been down for a while. And then this pretty blue one. I love colored, colored ones. Here's a pretty blue one. Here's this one. This one looks more like tatting. That's the dollies. I believe that is everything I've gotten in the last couple weeks. Um, yeah. So, anyway, I hope you liked the video. And, um, I will be back again with this finishing this, this, um, junk journal. And, uh, let me know how I'm doing so far because I just don't know really what I'm doing. And it really the sewing in is what's going to intimidate me. But I got that, that, um, board that's going to help me. So, anyway, okay, ladies, thank you so much for watching my video. I know it's a long one, but I had a lot to get through. So, anyway, you guys have a great day. And talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.